Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth and in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of fall decor inspiration. First, we're going to browse through Home Goods, and then I'll show you the haul that I picked up as well as some items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then I'll show you how I styled some things in my home for the fall season. So I hope you're able to enjoy this video. Please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like content like this. So go ahead and get cozy, grab your favorite beverage and settle in to enjoy browsing through home goods. I'm not gonna talk during this part of the video. So I hope you're able to relax and enjoy. All right, let me show you the haul that I picked up while mom and I were at Home Goods. I can't even tell you how excited I am that I found these throw pillows. Let me tell you the story about this one in particular. Let me grab it. So, I'm not one to I'm not one to decorate heavily for the seasons, um, but I do like accent colors that are seasonal, um, just mainly throw pillows and sometimes like a throw blanket. And then of course, you know, I do style my hutch and the tear trays. I saw this throw pillow a few months ago when I was in Home Goods, and I saw it in another woman's cart and she had two of them. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I love the color. I love the detail. It's very basic, you know, just a little black and white sketch on top of like a mustard yellow. They were so pretty in her cart. And when I went back to the throw pillow section, they had no more of them back there. So anyway, when mom and I were in there the other day and I saw this one, they only had one, but I saw it and I grabbed it immediately because it's just so pretty. And then when I touched it, it's also really soft. When I'm looking for a throw pillow, it has to meet two criteria. It has to be beautiful and eye-catching and I have to really love the color. The second is that it has to be soft. We live in our house, you know, like we live here, we enjoy the furniture we enjoy the pillows we enjoy the blankets i don't like to keep things around that we can't 
actively use and enjoy. You know what I mean? So this is the first throw pillow that I found. Robbie. <laughs> Robbie's back there playing video games. What are you playing, Rob? Minecraft. He's playing Minecraft. And this throw pillow is $19.99. So, you know, kind of basic, really pretty, really soft. The next pillow that I found, I saw it from way down the road. It caught my eye immediately and I gasped, actually. I was like, oh, and I went immediately to it. I touched it. So it was pretty and then it was also soft. Look at this, you guys. It's also, I don't know if it will pick up on the, on the screen, but it's textured. So like the, the flower here has texture sewn onto it. And this one is flat, but this one is textured. Yeah, kind of the same. The leaves are also have a texture detail on these, and these are flat. So the background is kind of like a bluish gray, and then it's got this kind of like a cream color and an oatmeal color, and then that same mustardy yellow and a beautiful green. The back is that, uh, it's just a nice neutral color. This pillow is $24.99, and I just love it so much. So since I had picked up these two pillows, and I wasn't even really planning to shop for pillows that day, they simply just caught my eye and I was inspired, so I picked them up. But I wanted to get a third one that would be not necessarily matching, but that would coordinate because I'm going for like a, I'm going, I'm not going for a matchy matchy look on the couch right now. Sometimes I really like that, but I just want something a little bit different. So I wanted a third pillow that would offer some coordination, but I wanted a different shape. I actually really wanted like a round pillow, but all the ones, all the round pillows they had were like really velvety with like a really shiny sheen to them. I did not like that at all. They also had one that was shaped like a knot. I don't know. It would definitely be just an accent pillow. It's not user friendly. It was not cozy at all. It was interesting to look at, but it's not what I was looking for. So we rounded the corner and we went down the neutral pillow row and I found this one. Actually, actually my mom found it. It was underneath another pillow that was the same pattern and texture, but the pillow was really large. And so I was like, oh man, I love that. If it was just like a different shape or a little smaller. And so we, she picked up that pillow and this one was underneath it in a basket. And it's kind of like a it's like a brown taupey kind of a color with the cream in there together. It's really soft, but also it's, it's not going to be just floppy. It's got decent structure to it, but it's very soft and it's by Calvin Klein. And the price on this one is $24.99. I really do love the way these throw pillows came together on the couch. I already had the two large striped pillows on my couch already they're from target a few seasons back and the black and white one is from a custom work that i had done for some pieces in my kitchen and i thought it just added a nice contrast a dark color to the rest of the pillows anyway i'm very happy with the way it looks it's not overstated it's very simple and lovely all right let me share with you what i picked up from hobby lobby Let's see, I went in a couple days ago, the kids were at their homeschool co-op and there's a Hobby Lobby fairly close to where they go to co-op. So I went in and looking, I went in to look for some new fall decor, just a little bit because I have plenty already, but you know, it is nice every year if you can to like pick up a new piece or two. If nothing else, I kind of went in just for some inspiration for what I might want to do this year anyway. I really love the way this garden flag looks. It says, Welcome Fall. I love the red truck and the harvest that is Holland. I thought it was so cute and festive and colorful and welcoming. So I picked that up. Let's see. It was $5.99 and I believe all their fall is 40% off currently. The main thing I was really looking for was um, just a few new floral picks, kind of that I kind of want to put together like in either on the tear tray or as like arrangements for a centerpiece or something like that. Got three like this. They were $1.99 each and they're short. Again, they were 40% off. I got those. I also picked up three of these, exactly the same. Uh, they look like um, hydrangea blooms. So they're kind of like, you know, in, a fall, in the fall tones, I got three of those. 
thought they were really pretty. And then I thought this was a unique looking piece. It has three different color variations in there. And this was $2.99. Oh, also in the in the fall section, I picked up some new ribbon. It's just called Fall Ribbon, and it was two ninety nine. I got two, I got two of them. And my thought is, I thought I might tie a couple of dainty little ribbons on my canisters in my Ray Dunn hutch. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. I think it's going to be really pretty. I have an orange and cream. Also in their tear tray decor section. I had been eyeing this piece for a while and this was actually on sale for $3.99. Um, we are a party of five, you know, my family. So I've always thought that was so cute and so I finally picked that up. And then I also got a few more floral pieces. I walked out like Miss America, Miss Fall America. So I got a couple of these larger pieces. They're exactly the same. These were $8.99. Again, they were 40% off. And they're just this white, I don't know what kind of flower it's supposed to look like, but it's like a white bloom with these little um, brown kind of, I don't know, fuzzy things. And then some little tiny looking blooms. And I just thought the colors were pretty and neutral. My, idea, my thought is that they'll go in the top of my hutch in the pictures that I have up there on either side. So it's kind of my thought for those and then because I got those I then picked up three smaller ones they're exactly the same these were $2.99 each kind of thought maybe for uh, maybe the centerpiece in my kitchen on the table and maybe two more in the hutch just to kind of help help give it a more cohesive look in the kitchen but who knows where, where they will end up I just thought they were so pretty and neutral which I love. I love neutral and I love pops of color and I love the fall color. This is also one other small pick that I got. It was $4.99 and I just thought these colors were so pretty. Again, I don't know what blooms they are supposed to be, but I like the color variations of the light yellow, these little orangey things, and then the grasses were just so pretty. So I thought maybe the centerpiece in our dining room or perhaps on the mantle. I'm not sure. So those are the things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to decorate my hutch, style a tear tray or two, then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. Most of these items I have already had in my collection for seasonal decor. But if you happen to have any questions about where certain items are from, I'm happy to answer those questions and maybe share links if I can, or I can also just point you in the direction of where to find certain things. So feel free to leave any questions in the comment section. I'm happy to help. I am so pleased with the way that this tear tray turned out. This tray always stays in my kitchen on my counter and it's close to my stove so I keep my salt and pepper there all the time. Everything else I try to change out with the seasons. Now this next tier tray I usually keep on our dining room table. We usually eat dinner whenever we can as a family at our dining room table and so I like to theme it around family and then also coordinate the colors with the seasons and whatever that might mean. You know, I try to keep it fresh, keep it keep it pretty all the time. But I really like the way this one turned out as well.
This is my Ray Dunn hutch. I keep it in my kitchen and this is where I keep my display pieces of my Ray Dunn collection. And you'll have to forgive all the glares on the windows. It's really hard to get a good picture with the doors closed of everything inside. So here is a view with the doors open of everything that I have styled inside. I'm very pleased with the way that everything came together this season. Fall is my favorite to decorate in this hutch particular. I'm not really sure, well I guess it must be the way that the cream colored of the Ray Dunn pieces really just coordinates so well with the warm orangey yellow tones of the fall season. I just think it's so pretty. I love it so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video and were able to gather some inspiration for your own fall decor in your home. Thank you for adding a dash of gratitude to your day. We'll see you on the next video.